I'm going to show you how to work with shapes in Adobe Captivate. I've got a two slide project here, brand new project. Slide number one's got a couple of shapes I've already added. Let me show you how to add shapes. I'll go to my shapes tool here on the toolbar. I'll select the star shape and I'll draw a star. Easy enough. Most of the shapes that you create will have these yellow icons on them indicating you can reshape the shape. So I'll take this yellow icon and as I drag it, you can see how it changes the appearance of the star. On this object, here's the yellow shape. You'll see how it changes that shape. And I'll do one more on the arrow. Nice. Another thing I want to do is change the appearance of the shapes. So I'll select one of the shapes. And on my properties inspector, notice that the shape is using a style called default smart shape style. I'm going to change the fill color. I'll just pick an orange color. Notice now that the style name has a plus sign next to it, indicating the style has been overridden, not saved. I'll go to the menu to the right of the style name, and I'll choose Save Changes to Existing Style. And notice that all the shapes using that style update automatically. Love that. One final thing, any shape can be a button. So I'm going to select this object here. and Currently, it's not a button. Notice. On the inspector, there's a style tab, there's an options tab, there's no actions tab, so I can't perform an action on the object. Easy enough to overcome this, I'll select use as a button. Notice now that I've got an actions tab, I'll go to actions, and the action I'm going to leave it set to is the default, go to the next slide. So now when I preview the project, check this out. I'll auto play. Here's the shape where I added the action. I'll click it. I end up on slide number two.